Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at GitHub Copilot. I applied for this quite a few months ago, finally got the approval email, so I've been through the, the setup process on that, which is just authorizing uh, the app within GitHub. I've installed the Visual Studio Copilot extension, should be all good to go and give this a try out. I'm going to create a basic um, .NET C Sharp console app and we'll see what it can help us with in there. Before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. So if we do a .NET new console here and then come into Visual Studio, um, we can see the, the extension I've installed here is this um, uh, this guy here, uh, the GitHub Copilot. So that should be looking good. Um, if we go into our program code, and we'll just make that a bit bigger. Right. Once I start typing functions, or even before I start typing a function, it's going to give me suggestions. And I can just hit tab and it will auto complete the whole thing. So I should be able to start typing the name of a function. And it should look on GitHub and look for similar stuff and suggest that to me. So say we will start with a simple one. Say we wanted to reverse that string. Um, we might start with a function here, public static string and just we so we'd call it reverse maybe okay so it's popped up that session of the whole function and uh, this is not like just auto completing types and stuff it's auto completing the function for you um so you can you can have a quick look at it before you commit to it um and you can see this one is taking a string converting it to a char array and calling reverse on that array it looks pretty good so if i hit tab i've now got that function in there um, and I could then just call that on here, like so. Um, and then if I bring up the console here, we should just be able to run this. Uh, and indeed, it has reversed the hello world. We can see that there. Okay, so that was quite a, a straightforward, easy one. Let's do a, something a little bit more complicated, maybe. Maybe we've got um, an array of ints, um, something like like this, with just some random numbers in here. Uh, I'll, I'll take those numbers, thanks very much. Um, okay, and then, right, we want to sort them. So, public static, um, it's going to return a new array for us, and say we want to do a... Um, bubble sort that would be pretty cool uh okay here is the function for that hit tab and it goes um just move this over a bit no, let me i'll just make it a little bit smaller so we can see that um okay so that hopefully that will sort it and then we want to write it out maybe so let's do a static uh, it wouldn't do anything apart from right array. Okay, so that's going to take the array, loop over each of them using a for each, and do a console write line for us. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and then let's just try and call that. So we do write array of the bubble sorted values. All right, that's not many keystrokes to take my array, sort it, and output it to the console. Uh, let's run that, see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let me just check that that is definitely working. Um, right, so they're definitely not in a great order. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, and that has sorted it for us. So it not only sorted it, but you know, with an explicit bubble sort. So you can probably just type in other types of sort here, you know, and maybe um, if I do one that's already written, probably not, but say I wanted bubble sort descending. Um, Will it give me that one? So, as we've known here, sometimes 
it does not it does not work because I do not know what that code is, but that is not a bowl sort descending. Um, so it's definitely not perfect yet. You've got to be careful of um, of what it's providing, um, but you can definitely see when it is working as well. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Certainly that bubble sort there um, and the reverse string just, you know, could definitely speed up those mundane tasks um, that people have done a lot of times before and you're not and, and, and hopefully then you're not going to get a silly error in there as well so you know the code that it suggests here isn't necessarily 100 perfect you're going to have to test it and check that it does work but there's probably a higher chance that it's going to work than uh, on the first time than something that you write potentially as well in terms of being bug free so pretty cool um yeah it's a free trial at the moment but you've got to pay for it. It's going to depend how much it costs, whether I go for it. We'll see. I'm going to delve a bit more into it in the coming weeks. Um, but there you go. GitHub Copilot. Pretty exciting stuff, to be honest. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like that one. Uh, thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching, though. Catch you next time. Bye.